All right, so uh, I'm here with... Uh, now, did you win that match, the semifinals? No, I lost that one. Okay, I'm here with James. He just lost in the semifinals. But, hey, it's not all bad because it appears you have one of the first living copies of Holy Millennium Falcon. Shit. Dude, excuse me. Uh, now, not to take away from your exceptional performance, I just want to look at the Falcon oh, for no, a second. Oh, no, it is beautiful. Yes. Can you put your hand up next to it just so we can see, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it is. It's the size it's of my hand. It's about the size of your hand. It's the size of your hand, folks. So, so <laughs> you, you've come a long way. Tell us about the matches on the day and kind of how it turned out for you. Uh, well, I went against three Imperials, actually. Uh, Are you playing Rebels? Uh, yes. Yep, okay. I was playing as Rebels, and it went... Uh, my first three matches were Imperials, and then this one was a mirror match. And uh, so the first two I swept... Um, and then the third one, and that was just, you know, I was running four Rebels. That definitely helps a lot. They weren't running as swarmy as they usually do. Had a bit of trouble with someone who was running a lot of named TIE Fighters, so that was interesting. Um, and then the last game, I made the, the third game, I made the mistake of letting too many of his Academy pilots get at range one, so that was really close uh, until I got Wedge going back and forth. And then this last one, I made a mistake, and uh, it bit me. So, yeah, it happens. So, what, what, what was your force composer? What did it look like? It was just Rebels with some upgrades. What's your favorite kind of way to run these guys? I went ran uh, two rookies, just bare. Uh, Gold Squadron Y-Wing with Ion Cannon for some patrol. And then Wedge with Swarm Tactics, which made up for, like, the, the rookies. Uh, and then R2-D2. And uh, I put a lot of... R2-D2 was the biggest hmm. pick for me because... Um, it basically came down to did I want to run really offensive or did I want to run very defensive. And it actually turned out that no one really shot at Wedge because he had R2-D2. And that really made a huge difference. He was on the table much longer in every game because of that. Wow, incredible. You know, a lot of people are kind of min-maxing, making Wedge a really offensive pilot with marksmanship or whatever. And then you're running him with swarm attacks, which is pretty cool. That, that's kind of a different thing. Yeah, I mean... It, I found in other games I've played that people just don't want to shoot at him, and I was counting on it, and it worked. Nice. So how do you feel now that you have one of the first Millennium Falcons uh, ever to be given out uh, in history of the, the game? <laughs> well, I was expecting acrylic range tokens for, for fourth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I w it was pretty awesome. And then they gave us uh, acrylic uh, focus tokens, and... You know, one focus token per ship doesn't really feel like enough. So now I'm I'm set because they gave me a, a nice. handful. That's great. Awesome. Yeah. Man. So I'm I'm pretty ecstatic right now. Cool. So if there's one thing that you could tell, there's a lot of players just now getting into X-wing. It's a new game. People are starting to grow. Yeah. What could you tell new players as far as like design of the force or you know tactics that you're using as far as planning out your moves? What's the single best piece of advice you could give people? Um, I know it's fun to run three named pilots for rebels. Um, I really don't recommend it. I really and just because it, if you run into a squad of seven, eight TIE Fighters, you just don't have enough power, usually. Um, at least that's what I ran into. Uh, I got a little too attached to pigs. So, so I, and then as soon as I dropped him, I started winning games. So. Nice. Yep. Awesome, James. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. It. And uh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, guys.